Hello ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Breath of Fire 3. So we're on our way to cross over the, the mountain of Mirneg on our own. After last time, we found out that McNeil was working with some... Working with some damn shady crooks. So we've got to be able to... We've got to find uh, what ha whatever happened to Tipo and Ray, because uh, after the, we were attacked by Balio and Sunder, only my, bleh, Bunyan only found me, which is very bad news. And what we found was a bat amulet, which protects against blindness, which will help a lot in this area with the rippers around. And thankfully, since we can equip two accessories, no reason not to. All right, look around a bit. Nothing. And from here, we can jump on down. And let's see, I'm very diligently searching the area for anything I might miss. Up here. As perspective, I learned Double Blow in the last episode. You learn them from the Nut Troops in this area. It's a 2 AP ability, you do 2 attacks, and I feel like they're roughly at 75% damage. Like, no! Bad timing! No! Bad! This is bad. Do, do you think he doesn't notice us? Hey, wait up, okay? It takes me a while to finish, you know? Wait, I said. Phew. Okay, bro, let's go. You're not my brother. Who are you? Wait, you're supposed to be dead. G ghost, help me. Ghost, what are you talking about? Help, help me, bro, come quick. Look, he's dead. I, I mean, I mean... He's alive! It's a zombie! Yeah, uh, I'm a terrifying zombie. See? Rawr! This is a surprise. Is he really alive? I'm scared! He's a vampire! Maybe we didn't finish him off? No, no. He's dead, you dummy. Is he dead? Oh, I'm not afraid of a dead zombie. Did we get him this time? We killed him. We're the strongest. The strongest? This damn kid in the back. That doesn't make you... What? Doesn't make you strong. Doesn't make you brave. Inconceivable. It makes you cowards. Bro, what's happening? He's not human. Is he invulnerable? Yikes, come on, bro. Let's get out of here. Wait. Hold on, bro. I have an idea. We may have just found our golden egg. Golden egg? Uh-oh. Wait! Where are we going? Look! I think that's Windia! Let's keep- No, no stop here! Please? Yes! Windia! Alright! Haha! <laughs> Good! So, wait, why would they take us to Windia? Is there somebody here they want to see? Castle Windia. And it be in truth a dragon. It certainly is, your highness. It's for real! A real dragon! Hmm, if what you say is true, it is a most serious matter, no? 
Indeed, they tried to destroy the world. Hey, bro, I think it's gonna work. Your Highness, I give you the dragon. Uh, bro? What's this? They kidnapped me, they just stuck me in this box, and I don't even know what's going on. Oh, hey, he's gone. He's back to being a kid. Let's try hitting him again. And now they're kicking my cage. Hey, kid, come on. Why don't you change, huh? Someone let me out. Is it working? Enough! Explain yourself, charlatans. I think it's working. Arrest these con men in their trap. Wait, what? I think my plan worked too well. <sighs> Story of my life. Are you kidding me? Shut up! Stop your crying, you brat! It's all your fault! If only you turn into a dragon, we wouldn't be down here! We're gonna miss the contest, man! What was that noise? <sighs> well, at least I'm in Windia. Hey, wait a minute! Wasn't that the little girl that was with the king? Wouldn't that make her a princess? Hello there, I'm Nina. Uh, hi Nina. I feel so sorry for you, being treated like that. So I thought I'd let you go. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you! Hear that, bro? She says she'll let us go. Oh no, not them. No. Nina, come back. Not you. If I let you go, you'll just pick on him again, won't you? We wouldn't do that, Princess Nina. I swear, we won't pick on him again. So, if you could please open the door... Nina, this is a bad idea! Really? Don't tell me you're this naive, kiddo! Alright then, of course. Thank you, princess! And you won't pick on him again, right? Oh no. We won't do anything to that kid again. Oh god, this is a terrible idea. Ah! No, wait a minute! Way to go, bro! Besides, who needs that freak? When we have a princess, she's worth more money anyway. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, you've got to be kidding me! Time to hit the road, eh? Yep, you carry her. Imagine that fat ransom she'll fetch. I've got to do something about this. They're gone. Oh, come on. What's going on? I've got nothing. They... Wait, do I still have my equipment? Whatever. Gift horse, mouth. Wait, let's not talk about horses right now. The door's locked. What do I do? Uh, break the door down. If the guards didn't hear the commotion already being caused, they won't hear... Ugh. Ouch. They won't hear anything else, so yelling for them won't matter. I'll get away with the princess. What do you do? Hit the door again! Get a running start. Charge! Whoa! It opened! Oh, I'm really hurt, but who cares? It worked! Well, let's go ahead and grab that skill ink, and I'm gonna save up. I'm the only one that can help her. Did you hear a sheep? A sheep? What? What's wrong with you? Well, they had to have gone this way, right? So, what's down these stairs? It couldn't be a way out, could it? Let me go! Let me go! 
I said. Sorry, princess, no can do. We've got to get our ransom money first. You again. Oh no, not him again. I've had it about clear with, up to here with him. Me too, enough is enough. This time we kill him for sure. Oh, good grief. Bro, what if he turns into a dragon again? We've got the princess. You won't try anything stupid while she's with us. Oh, they are right. There isn't much I can do. But I have to try. What? What's this? A session? It's a typo. Change into dragon form. Well, they were afraid of it before. So might as well give it a shot, right? Ow! Oh, I didn't even have a chance! Oh, even to being able to turn into a dragon meant nothing before these guys. Are you alright? Wait, where'd they go? That's good, the medicine worked. While you were fighting with them, I was able to find a place to hide. What, really? Well, that's awfully capable of you. Well done. Because of your bravery, because you fought them, I was able to get away. Thank you. Um, what's your name? Oh, that's right, I didn't actually mention it before. <laughs> Lamar, thank you, Lamar. Come on, let's get out of here. We should be able to get to the city this way. Why don't we go back up the stairs? Eh, forget it. Uh, whoops, looks like we're in control of Nina. So let's see who the hell she is. She's level 5 for one. She has an oaken staff and not much else. A soul gem? I think I'm going to take that off. The pool. Oops. Okay, there we go. I don't want to waste an accessory that good this early in the game. So she has no healing, no assist, but she does have Slycone, Frost, and Jolt. Wow! So she's an offensive spot caster. Cool. Well, I guess we should head on down. This is where she said to go. There's a lot of items to find down here. And one skill that I can tell. Uh, and a lot of creepy graves. It says, this will open that. This and that are raised and look like they could be pushed. Do you want them to push them? So this is something you're not going to learn without trial and error or looking at a guide. You want that. It says, look at the graves to find their secrets. Look and secrets are raised and look like they could be pushed. Do you want to push them? You want to push the secrets. And we also have enemies in the catacombs, because why not? And yes, I think Nina's a magical girl. So I'm leaving this battle in, specifically just to show you what she's like. First of all, at level 5, she already almost has as much AP as I do. And I also have Ascension still. I can transform into a dragon at will. It will take a turn of combat and 5 AP. There's also another feature to it, wonderfully. And that is that you will spend AP every turn to stay in your dragon form. So if you're going to use it, be careful. And make sure you are sure you want to use it for a while. Though you can cancel out of it early if you want. Using my EX turn to finish off that nut mage. I should have used a fire attack. Wait, she doesn't have fire. Huh. Yeah, she doesn't have fire. Jolt hits all targets, wind is wind against one target. Let's see if it's enough to finish it off. If not, then I just wasted more AP than I needed to. Yep, only four damage. Wow, they only have like five hit points. Well, I gained a level at least. So next is checking out this tombstone. 
It says, after climbing the tall grave, you will fall outside. Climbing and outside are raised and look like they can be pushed. You want to push outside. It says, whether you go above or beneath is up to you. Above and beneath are raised and look like they could be pushed. Do you want to push them? Push above. So before we do anything else, I think, however, we want to go down here. Oh, wait, no, we don't. Not yet. So that last battle was just against a couple of volts, but I noticed something that I forgot to mention in the battle that I did show you guys. The eagle-eyed viewers among you might have noticed that the attack uh, animation for the main character is now a little more confident. Rather than looking away and flailing my sword around, he actually takes a confident upper hand swing. I mean overhead swing, not upper hand. What the hell does upper hand mean? Anyway, we need to press more buttons. What is this mean the meaning of green and red? Green and red are raised and look like they could be pushed. Do you want to push them? You might notice we're pushing every single green button. Something seems off about that. My memory uh, serves. If my memory serves, that's not at all what I remember being able to do as a kid. Got a panacea. As a kid, I remember that there were some, definitely some red buttons that I had to push. So the fact that we're hitting all green kind of annoys me when I said it is a high place, but not here. We are hitting the green button again. Huh. It couldn't have been that easy. I don't remember it being that easy. Lots of words carved in this stone. Remember the red words, not the green. The words are actually switches. What word do you want to push? Uh... Uh-oh. Red, words, and green. Uh, don't push anything. That was odd. That shouldn't have happened. Yet. There's somewhere else we should go. However... We don't want to go there yet, so we want to go this way first. I'm pretty sure we want to go to that big tombstone before we touch that smaller one with three words. So Nina gained a level, but I neglected to show you guys the level up screen because I accidentally skipped past it too quick. She learned Simone! So already she has pretty much most of useful Tipo's useful skills. Also, I wanted to go to tactics real fast and go to formation. And we're in normal. I want defense. So if we go to this gravestone... A treasure to he who pushes the seven words. The path opens to he who learns the seven words. Seven is sticking out. Looks like it can be pushed. You want to push it. Alright, well that did something. It's entirely possible that I forgot what order and everything that I'm supposed to do in this area, and that's why I'm wandering around back and forth mindlessly. <laughs> But I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. If I did it the wrong order, then all I have to do is travel back from this gravestone to the other gravestone. Oh no. That's not what I meant to do. Oops! That was the wrong one! Shoot. Okay, well, if this is what happens when you press the wrong... Let, uh, the wrong name. In the wrong word, I should say. And you find a glass domino, which happens to be a helmet. I think? Yeah, she can wear it, so let's give it to Nina. She could definitely use the defense. Alright, so... I... Apparently there's a new enemy here! Say hello to Thunder! So I'm going to go all out and just submit and double sta uh, slash it. Oh, and it uses the skill Jolt. On itself, as you might notice, Volt and Thunder, as you might be able to tell, heal themselves when Nightning Magic is used. Also, they, uh, the Volt specifically ha 
happens to deal more damage. So its abilities have increased, and I think it also can use electric abilities now. Doesn't matter if I still beat you before you can move. So I think I'm going to call it here. I obviously didn't know as much about this area as I thought I did, and I need to go back, rest up, heal, that sort of thing. So th I like you better with your hair down, Nina. It's cute. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.